we're looking at the Dark Rock 5 from Be Quiet. While it's a single tower unit with only one 120mm fan, it actually packs a punch and is able to cool down 210 watt TDP. Today we're diving into the Be Quiet Dart Rock 5. This is the non-pro, non-elite version. It's a high performance CPU cooler, perfect for gamers and PC enthusiasts who crave silent operation without compromising on cooling efficiency. Some of the features include Six advanced high performance heat pipes for optimal heat dissipation. A Silent Wings 4 120mm PWM fan that ensures near silent operation, producing only 29.8 decibels at maximum speed. It's also got an asymmetrical design and heat sink cutouts for high RAM and VRAM cooler compatibility. It's also got an elegant black ceramic coated surface and it's also easy to install with pre-fixed mounting bridge and screws. The unit's also compatible with liquid metal thermal grease and it's also backed by a three year manufacturer's warranty. The Dark Rock 5 comes in a sleek black box featuring a product image front and center with key specifications and features on the back and sides as well as a QR code Inside you'll find the main heatsink, securely protected in foam. There is also two cardboard boxes inside the main package, one which includes the fan, the other one includes the Intel and AMD fittings, manual, warranty sheet, as well as four fan clips and a syringe of thermal paste. Also attached to the foam that the cooler comes in is a screwdriver for fitting. The heatsink is fully black, except for the CPU plate and the Be Quiet logo. It consists of two parts, the main heatsink and a magnetic top cover, which can be removed for ease of access during installation. The magnetic top cover can be flipped to ensure the logo is always the correct way up, even in an inverted PC setup. The fan attaches with two clips, and additional clips are provided for a second fan if you wish to install, enabling a push-pull configuration. Notably, the Dark Rock 5 does not feature any RGB lighting, maintaining a sleek, professional look. Installation of the Dark Rock 5 is straightforward. For Intel boards, all you have to do is attach the back plate, add the standoffs, secure the bracket, apply thermal paste, and screw in the heatsink. For AMD boards, Install the mounting frame instead of the back plate and follow the same instructions as for Intel. Once the heatsink is installed, attach the fan and connect the PWM cable to your motherboard. So in this first test, we're testing the fan running at 50% speed. Again, for 30 minutes, an average over three tests on a 13700K i7 processor. And here you can see, with one fan, this came in at 62 degrees. We did add a second fan to it, just to see how it would perform, and it did perform two degrees better, running at 60. Comparison-wise, that is actually extremely good, compared to all the other ones we've tested. And again, that was average temperature running at 50% speed. In this test, we're now doing 50% speed again, but we're looking at the maximum temperature the CPU got up to. And as you can see here, it hit 91 degrees. If you add that second fan in, it did drop it down to 89 degrees. But again, that's not too bad considering it's a 210 TDP on this. And an i7 13700K is rated a lot higher at around 240 TDP. On this test we're checking now with the fans running at 100% speed and again we're getting the average temperature. With one fan we're getting 56, with two we're getting 55. Again, that's comparable to the other ones on there, only be really been beaten out by the Pro model of the Dark Rock 5. 
and on this last test we're checking with the fan running at 100% fan speed and we're checking the maximum temperature the CPU got up to and again there's only one degree difference between running with one fan and two fans in all reality I'd stick with a one fan it's going to be a lot quieter than having two fans running on it and you're going to see very little in the performance and saying that it performs extremely well again really it's tying in here with the dark rock pro 5 at the maximum temperatures okay the pro was better on average uh, and it's probably not as good as some of the arctic ones but for the price of the cooler and the tdp it's performing very well in this test we're checking the decibel levels at 50% fan speed and you can see here is comparable with the best running at 34 decibels. Okay the Arctic Freezer 36 in two fan mode comes at 33 but it's only one decibel difference so in reality you're not going to notice it when it's running at 50% speed. And on this final test we're checking at 100% fan speed and we're checking the decibel levels again and as you can see here the dot rot 5 it beats out the pro model by four decibels that bear in mind the pro model is running in performance mode but still it's four decibels quieter and it's only beaten by the arctic freezer 36 running with one fan instead of two so actually performs extremely well if you add that second fan in though it does get a little bit noisy at 49. While the cooler handles our processor well, it's ideal for CPUs with lower TDPs like mid-range i5s or non-K variants of an i7. Overclocking isn't recommended unless you have got a lower end CPU, as may lead to increased fan noise when the CPU gets hot. The Be Quiet Dart Rock 5 is an excellent choice for those seeking a balance of high performance and silent operation, as well as being smaller than the Pro variations. It may not be the absolute best on the market for cooling, but it comes close and offers great value for money. Perfect for mid-range to high-end builds, it's easy to install and delivers reliable cooling for your system. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.